Welcome back to the second episode of our enlightening three-part series on navigating one's unlived life. As we remember from first episode, authors in Living Your Unlived Life combine Jungian psychology and practical exercises to help us understand and integrate the parts of ourselves that we have neglected or left unexplored. Here are seven main key takeaways from the book. 1. Embracing the Unlived Life the book encourages readers to acknowledge and embrace the aspects of their lives that have not been realized. Instead of viewing these aspects with regret, the authors suggest seeing them as sources of energy and potential for growth. 2. Understanding Projection Johnson and Rule discuss how people project their unlived lives onto others, which can lead to misunderstandings and conflicts in relationships. Recognizing these projections is the first step toward reclaiming those parts of ourselves. 3. The Significance of Dreams and Symbols The authors emphasize the importance of paying attention to dreams and symbols as messages from the unconscious about the unlived aspects of our lives. They offer guidance on how to interpret these messages and integrate their meanings into our conscious lives. 4. The Second Half of Life as Opportunity the book is particularly focused on the second half of life, presenting it as a prime opportunity to explore and fulfill parts of ourselves that were previously neglected. This period is seen as a time for reflection, reassessment and realignment with one's deeper desires and values. 5. Practical Exercises for Integration Throughout the book, practical exercises are provided to help readers identify their unlived lives and find ways to integrate these aspects into their daily lives. These exercises encourage self-exploration, imagination, and taking concrete steps toward realizing one's full potential. 6. The Role of Rituals and Creativity Johnson and Rule highlight the role of rituals and creativity in expressing and exploring the unlived life. They suggest engaging in creative activities and establishing personal rituals as ways to connect with and give form to the inner self. 7. Finding Balance the goal, according to the authors, is to find a balance between the demands of the external world and the needs of the inner self. This involves making peace with the past, living more fully in the present, and being open to the future with its possibilities for growth and fulfilment. Thank you for staying with us. We hope you are now eager to discover the practical steps towards embracing your unlived life. Don't miss the third episode of this series, where we'll delve into the practical and actionable strategies in detail. Don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe for more insightful episodes.